What's up guys, Pete here, and today we're talking about home sale contingencies. What are they? What you should do first if you are contingent on selling your home in order to buy, and if you should consider accepting somebody's offer whose sale is contingent. All right, guys, well, let's jump right into it. So what is a home sale contingency? A home sale contingency means that in order to purchase your next home, you need to close on the sale of your home. Uh, Some of the reasons that that might be is, you know, when we talk about qualifications for a purchase, we look at your debt to income ratio, right? So how much do you owe every month versus how much income you bring in every month? And typically an additional mortgage payment, having two mortgage payments for most people is going to put that debt to income ratio way above the threshold where they wouldn't qualify for purchasing their next home. Uh, And a lot of people just need the equity that they have in their home in order to purchase their next home. Now, there's some different things that we can do and we can get creative so that we can eliminate that home sale contingency. Give me a call and we can talk more about that. So what should you do if you need to sell your home in order to buy your home, right? Where should you start? What should you do first? So your first step is going to be meeting with a real estate agent. A real estate agent is going to give you an idea of where they, you know, reasonably expect your home to sell. They should be able to break down, you know, what you're actually going to net from the sale as opposed to just what it would sell for. From there, you're going to speak with your mortgage lender uh, and the mortgage lender is going to give you a good idea of, you know, your debt to income ratio, which we talked about earlier, and what you could qualify for. From there, the first step is really getting your home on the market. The reason we want to get your home on the market is somebody whose home you want to purchase is going to be more reluctant to sell it to you if your home is not even on the market and you have to sell it in order to buy. Should I consider someone who has to sell their home in order to buy my home? Well, that is a loaded question. There's a lot of things that go into it. But in short, I would say, yes, you should consider it. Uh, There are tons of circumstances that can make that make sense. Uh, We want to do our due diligence and make sure, okay, is their home on the market? Have they gone through inspections? You know, who is their lender? Have they received their mortgage commitment? Is there anything else that needs to be done? Every step that they're further along and closer to closing on the sale of their home the more comfortable a seller typically is in selling to that person because it gets more and more of a sure thing. Now, we know nothing in this business is a sure thing, so you always want to do your due diligence, but we also, if somebody comes in with an amazing offer because they really want to be in your home or they really want to be in that neighborhood, um, you know, I would say it's worth considering. It's not the ideal scenario. Somebody who isn't contingent at all and makes an equal offer more often than not, we are going to lean towards that because it's a little bit of a safer bet. But again, always do your due diligence, work with people who you trust to give you the information that you need to make the best decision possible, and you're going to be just fine. Um, So we hope you enjoyed this. We hope this was helpful. Again, my name is Pete. If there's anything I can do to help you now or in the future, feel free to give us a call. We'd love to connect and keep an eye out for more videos coming soon.